from Beijing. I was born in Beijing and I was brought up there. You know, I studied English language and literature and uh, I studied law, uh, thinking I would become a lawyer. I moved to Hong Kong right after university. I wanted to see the world and meet people. And a friend of mine said, why don't you become a journalist? By chance, somebody introduced me to this magazine, so I became the editor. And then when Vogue finally came to China and wanted to launch Vogue in China, so they asked me. I think in some way you appreciate fashion, but you are not totally in fashion. Sometimes gives you a more clear perspective. Running a Vogue magazine is more than loving some dresses. We operate a big Vogue edition in China. We are one of the biggest in the world. Since I had a child, my daughter, then I, my view on modern women has changed slightly. I'm not going to have another one, so I, I want to spend every minute possible with her. And I had to think about what kind of a woman I would like my daughter to become. And suddenly it became much clearer in my mind that if I want my daughter to become such a kind of a woman, then I want my readers to become that kind of a woman. The clothes is a reflection of who you see yourself and how you want to live your life. At the moment, the Western fashion is so dominant that the local industry, the Chinese designers, uh, they're struggling to find a space for themselves. In some way, I feel that at Vogue in China, we have the responsibility to help the Chinese uh, designers and artists and find that voice. In the 20s and the 30s in China, especially in big cities like Shanghai and Beijing, the women in China were wearing fashion as people in New York and Paris were. But then it stopped. And the people were not encouraged to wear anything nice. Our generation, when we grew up, we did not have nice things. So, of course, then later on, I said, come on, Grandma, where are all your things? She said, I flushed them down the toilet because at the time, you know, the, the Red Guards, they were raiding their houses, checking your things and, you know, to see if you were, you know, those things were a bad sign. We are only a magazine, but we do what we can to help create that voice out of China too, so that it's not just me, Vogue, talking. And I hope there are more people from China in the business who can have a voice and represent the country.